Imagine, if you will, a battery that could take radiation from the sun, store it as thermal energy to be released in the future on demand. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, and today, that's what we're gonna be taking a look at. What we're talking about here is a thermal battery. Now, this isn't anything new. If you think of a brick wall that collects the heat of the sun during the day and then stays warm overnight, that's an example of a very primitive solar battery. And it's not very exciting. But researchers at Chalmers University in Sweden, in a series of papers released throughout the year, detail their work on a solar thermal fuel that will allow us to trap radiation and store it for extended periods of time. And according to these papers, by extended period of time, we're looking 18 years in an uninsulated container. To make this a reality, the team designed their own molecule made out of nitrogen, carbon, and hydrogen. This molecule is known as norbornadiene. And this molecule has a pretty unique property. When hit with solar radiation, it changes into an energy-rich isomer. Basically, it rearranges itself to store the energy that it receives. This molecule is then known as quadricycline, which is basically just this molecule in a high energy state waiting to be released. This molecule then can be stored stably for use in the future when, say, the sun isn't shining as bright or at dark. To do that, this team of researchers uses a system they call MOST, or Molecular Solar Thermal Energy Storage. Basically, the MOST system is just a way to gather solar radiation, excite the molecule, and then store it in an uninsulated tank at room temperature. Now, of course, storage is all well and good, but worthless if you don't have a way to release the energy that you're saving. To do that, researchers have come up with a screen that has a cobalt catalyst that they can push the quadricycline through to release the energy in the form of heat. And we're talking about a lot of heat. Researchers saw a rise in temperature of 113 degrees Fahrenheit. We're looking around 63 degrees Celsius from room temperature. That means if you started with liquid that was 70 degrees, this process jumped it up to 183. And all of this without any emissions whatsoever. I mean, as it stands, this could be used for hot water heating, dishwashing, whatever you need to heat stuff for, heating your home. But where it gets real interesting is if you preheat the water, say through uh, solar collectors or something to that effect, and then release the energy into that water, you can boil it. And when you boil water, you get steam, and when you get steam, you can generate electricity. This breakthrough is just sounding better and better all the time. And according to Casper, Moth Paulson, he's an author on these papers. We have made many crucial advances recently, and today we have an emissions-free energy system which works all year round. But he also states that there is a lot left to do. We have just got the system to work. Now we need to ensure everything is optimally designed. And optimize they will. Moth Paulson has stated that he thinks he can optimize this fuel to see up to a 230 degree release in heat energy. That's 110 degrees Celsius. That means you would be able to take room temperature water and jump it to 300 degrees nearly immediately. That produces a lot more steam, which produces a lot more electricity. Win, win, win all around. Now, with all that being said, we do have to look at the reality of the situation. The team believes they're looking at about 10 years before we see commercialization of this process. But when we do, I think it's going to be a game changer. But that's what I think. I want to know what you think. What can you see a system like this being used for? How can we go forward and implement this into our society? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to click that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe. If you ring that bell icon, it'll notify you when I upload something new. New videos will be out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. From here on out, I quit my jobs and I'm back to YouTube full time. So I will see you here again. And until next time, just have fun and be safe.